Tonight, the Wolverines are out for revenge as Utah Valley entertains the Huskies from Northern Illinois. This one should be a lot of fun, and it's coming up next right here on the UVU Sports Network. Welcome to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University, where tonight the Wolverines of UVU, who have won all three games this season in this building, hosting the Huskies of Northern Illinois University. The Huskies looking for their first win of the season. Hello again, everybody. I'm Jim McCall, along with Matt Peterson. This is a rematch from a game last year Matt played on New Year's Eve day up in Illinois. The, the Wolverines lost that one by 10 points, and then all of a sudden they got hot. They won 13 of their next 16 games. Is a is a loss just as good as a win sometimes? Yeah, sometimes a loss will tell you a lot about your team that you need to know. And so definitely that's what sprung the Wolverines on to the rest of their season. Meanwhile, the Wolverines, speaking of coming off losses, they just lost to the University of Arkansas on Tuesday night. Then they went to Oakland, a double, double dip during Thanksgiving week. They lost them both on the road. Yeah, tough road trip for the Wolverines. I think that there was a lot of things that they could take away from both of those games. but. You know, you learn more from winning than you do from losing. I think the Wolverines, you know, saw that, and, and hopefully they come out tonight with that mindset, learning from those two games. And then, of course, Northern Illinois, they're struggling. They were just coming off a loss against Boise State. Yeah, definitely another tough road trip there for Northern Illinois. Went up to Boise State, lost by 14 in that game. So, you know that they're going to be ready to play this game. Those road games are very hard and very difficult to play, so they'll be focused coming into tonight's game. All right, let's talk about some key players for tonight, Matt. Usually we talk about Isaiah Williams for UVU. He only had three points at Arkansas, three points. And he was despondent after that, came out Friday night against Oakland, had 35. But tonight, we're not talking about Isaiah. Yeah, he's going to be key, but these players are going to be probably a little bit more key tonight. Fulton Hunsaker coming off a season-high 17 points last game. Ben Air, who plays the center position, had a double-double against Arkansas. These two players are going to have to have a big impact in tonight's game if the Wolverines are going to come away with a victory. Now, Northern Illinois, despite the fact they're 0-5, they've got a couple of good players, too, especially these two. Yeah, Abdel Nader, who plays the wing position, just a freshman averaging 12 points per game. In the last three, he, did, he has averaged 15 points per game, as well as Tim Toller, a forward who has 27 rebounds on the season. So he's going to be very active on both the offense and defensive glass. The Wolverines are going to have to account for that tonight. Yeah, this is one of those games that both teams need badly to get going. So keys to victory for both of them, Matt. Yeah, Wolverines, they've got to step up their defense. They're at their best when their defense is as good as their offense. They have to be aggressive on the rebounds, both offensive and defensively, and they need to have some scoring from their bench. As for uh, Northern Illinois, They've got to keep up their defense as well. It's going to be a defensive game tonight. They've got to limit their turnovers on the road. That always puts you in a difficult spot. And they have to take good shots. They're not going to be in this game if they're taking bad shots at bad times. Wolverines 3-3 three and three on the season, but they're undefeated here at the UCCU Center. We'll find out if that continues tonight. We'll take a break. Back with more of your Costa Vida pregame show. Starting lineups and your opening tip coming up right here on UVU TV. I'm Joe Luce, an anthropology student at UVU, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm sharpening my mind and my skills.
I'm Patty Garcia, a geology student at UVU, and this is Engaged Learning. At UVU, I'm learning by doing. And welcome back to the UCCU Center. The Wolverines of Utah Valley hosting the Huskies from Northern Illinois. Northern Illinois, Matt, they're, they're coming here kind of struggling. It's a rebuilding year, let's be honest. Last year they beat the Wolverines by 10, but this year only one of those guys is back. They've got eight freshmen on the team this year out of 13 men on the roster, and of those eight freshmen, three of them are starting. Meanwhile, the Wolverines, they're the opposite way. they got three seniors and two sophomores, four of whom are starting their 37th consecutive game. Quite a difference between the two teams. Yeah, definite difference there. Uh, you know, on paper, you would have to say, well, the advantage is going to go to the Wolverines because of the number of players that they have who have, who have experience, whereas Northern Illinois doesn't quite have as much experience. And on paper, that's how it would seem. But, you know, as they say, we, we play the games for a reason. And, you know, once you get out and you get action and you get playing, it doesn't matter, you know, what what experience you've had or how old you are, it just comes natural. Yeah, exactly. All right, time now for your starting lineups. First of all, for the Northern Illinois Huskies, 0-5 on the season. They'll be starting at forward Keith Gray, six foot six freshman. He's one of those eight freshmen on the squad. He's from Chicago, Illinois. Keith Gray averaging three and a half points a game. By the way, Keith has an identical twin brother, Kevin, also on the team. The only way you can tell them apart, I understand, is the number they wear. Keith Gray will be wearing number 21 tonight. His brother will be wearing 13. Unless Keith gets in foul trouble, then I assume they switch it after. Starting at wing, another freshman. Six foot seven, Abdel Nader, averaging 12 points a game. He is the team's leading scorer. At forward, Tim Toller, senior, six foot seven, averaging 9.6. At forward, Marquez the forward at six foot one. He's a guard. He's a freshman. And then Anton Christian starts at the other guard spot, a sophomore at six foot two. Northern Illinois, coached by Mark Montgomery in his first year at Northern Illinois. He spent 10 years as an assistant coach at Michigan State. Northern Illinois comes in here averaging just 51 points a game. They're giving up 76 points a game. Meanwhile, UBU. Comes in here three and three on the season. They've lost all three games on the road. They've won all three games at home. If they could play them all at home, they'd have a heck of a season so far. But the uh, the road games haven't been that bad. They lost to Houston by 13. They lost to Arkansas, as we mentioned earlier, by eight, just eight points. Then they lost to Oakland by six. All three of those losses, the Wolverines felt there were certain points in the game where they really could have done a couple of things differently and won the game. But coulda, woulda, shoulda, you know. If, Worms had guns, birds wouldn't mess with them. So Utah Valley, three and three on the season. They are looking for a victory tonight, especially over a team last year that kept them from winning 20 games. Northern Illinois beat them up at their place. 86-76 was the final score there. Starting lineups for the Utah Valley Wolverines. At forward, number 33, Key Thompson, a senior from Bellflower, California. Key Thompson averaging nine points a game. Starting at the other forward, just named Great West Conference Co-Player of the Week, senior from Bronx, New York, standing six foot five, averaging a double-double. Gettys Robinson, 12 points a game and 11.8 rebounds a game. He's the team's leader rebounder. At center, Ben Aird, 6'9", sophomore from Bountiful, Utah, averaging 7.3 a game. What a game he had against Arkansas in Fayetteville on Tuesday night. At guard, point guard, Holton Hunsaker, six foot sophomore from North Salt Lake City, Utah, averaging 6.8 a game. And then your returning All-American, Isaiah Williams, averaging 17.8 a game. He's a senior. Stands six foot one, Isaiah's from Chicago, Illinois. Just three points against Arkansas, and then a career high, 35 points Friday night against Oakland University up in Auburn Hills, Michigan. It was a heck of a game. I wish y'all could have been there to see that thing because Isaiah couldn't hit anything on Tuesday at Arkansas and he couldn't miss against Oakland. Sometimes players have those type of games. Psychologically, you come back home, 
which one of those Isaiahs is going to show up? That's yeah. the question, huh? Yeah, and let's let's hope the the good Isaiah. I mean, obviously, I think it, we you know we say the good Isaiah. We we want to see the good Wolverines in this instance. The Wolverines go on what seems like and what feels like a long yeah, road trip over the Thanksgiving holiday, and they lose both of those games. So very early on in this game, we're going to see the mindset and the preparation that they put into this game. They're going to be playing a lot of games in a very short period of time here. So let's see how they start out early and how Northern Illinois starts out early here also. And a whistle before we get this thing underway. Officials want to talk about something. All right, if they're going to be this nitpicky on the opening yeah. tip, we're, we could be in for a long night, partner. All right. Pete Thompson controls the tip. Wolverines win another tip to start another game. Thompson feeds inside Ben Air right away. Shot partially blocked and a foul going to be called. Yep. Well, I'm afraid we might hear a few whistles. Yeah, and that was a play specifically designed to get Ben Air the ball as deep in the paint as possible there. You know, a couple really good screens. Isaiah was one who came across to set the last screen there, but. You know, here we go. Ben being one of the key players in the game. They're looking to get him involved very early on and get him get him in the action. You know, a couple of the last games that we've seen from the Wolverines, Ben's gotten into some foul trouble at the very beginning. You know, he's got to shy away from that, but this is a great start for him, starting off by getting to the free throw line. Wolverines have not been there much this season. Ben makes one of two. Well, the Wolverines take an early lead. Forward with it. And over to Christian. Guarded by Isaiah. Work it over to the right side to Nader. Abdel Nader, 12 points a game. Northern Illinois. They don't appear to want to go inside on that opening possession anyway. And why not when Toller can hit from outside like that? Yeah, I think a lot of teams watch what teams do against the Wolverines uh, offensively. And that time Northern Illinois spaced the ball, setting a couple high picks on the ball. So we see another play that's designed to go into Ben Aird, but Holden stepped out of bounds. But back to the defensive end there. You know, just a nice play there. Just a pick and then a pop from Tim Toller and knocks down the three-point shot. 3-1, Three Northern Illinois with an early lead. Northern Illinois looking for their first victory of the season. Wolverines even at 500 right now. Driving to the hole is Gray. Five to one. And by the way, that four point lead is the biggest lead Northern Illinois has had this season in their first six games. Ben Air works for the Wolverines. His patented little jump hook draws the foul. It's going to put Big Ben at the free throw line again. Ben, so far this season, 5 of 13. Came in here shooting 33% from the strike. Wolverines overall, just 26%, or excuse me, 63%. Yeah, it makes a big difference. 63% from the strike. Still pretty low compared to what they have been in years past. And that's because the wrong guys, I understand, are just getting to the line instead of their hot shooting guards. Yeah, three straight plays there for the Wolverines to start the game offensively looking to go inside. I wouldn't be surprised to see maybe the Wolverines the next play they trying to go into uh, go into Ben in the in the paint that Northern Illinois tries to do some type of double team or at least do a little bit more to keep the ball out of his hands because he's getting it in great great spots. Whistled away from the ball as Holton Hunsaker hits the deck hard. Charge is going to be called on Northern Illinois. That one goes against Keith Gray. A moving screen there. Keith Gray was setting the, the last leg of the screen there. And Holton was chasing, but a little bit uh, of a moving screen there and, and called for the offensive foul. Kevin Gray checks into the game, twin brother of Keith Gray. You know, it's interesting. They're both listed as 6'6", 205 from Chicago. They look identical. <laughs> <laughs> on paper and on the court. Yeah. Another Wolverine turnover. Northern Illinois in business. Shaking and bacon. Long jumper. Make it a long two. Buried from outside. And Del Nader. Seven to three. Hunsaker off. Huskies with a rebound. 
This is not the start that UVU wanted at home. Yeah, I think Northern Illinois has come out with some pretty good intensity and looked very crisp early on here. And Northern Illinois with their first turnover of the game. And just as I say that, what happens? They turn the ball over. See what the Wolverines do here offensively. They've had some success getting it into Ben. Wouldn't be surprised to see some screen set here for Isaiah to get him a little bit more involved in the action as well. Gettys comes way out up top, gives over to now back to Isaiah. Three. Nope. Go, go, go. Northern, Illinois, Northern Illinois with the rebound. 7 3, we're early. Long three point attempt. Nope. And Keith Thompson. Stepped on the baseline trying to save that one. Huskies basketball. Here comes Storm, Tyler Storm, 6'5", senior. One of just two seniors on this squad. Toller takes a seat. Ford will trigger for the Huskies. Wolverines running man to man. Storm into the lane looking for help. Finally dishes off. 15 to shoot. And another turnover just in time for Wolverines to take advantage on the run. Keith Thompson in the lane. And ball is going to belong to UVU. Wolverines are a little bit sloppy on the offensive end. I think they've had some decent possessions defensively, but they have definitely looked a little bit out of sorts offensively. They're forcing it when it doesn't necessarily need, need to be forced. They just need to keep patient, run their offense, run it all the way through, and I think they're going to get some good shots here. Let's see if they try and get a screen set for Isaiah Williams in a, in a quick shot. Alfonso Hubbard into the game for Keith Thompson. Wolverines haven't hit a shot yet. Gettys. Now they have. Gettys Robinson first basket for UVU. Pulls them to within two at 7-5. And that patented pump fake from Gettys. Spun around the defender. Got right to the rim. Realized that the defender was coming around the backside. Beautiful pump fake to get him up in the air. And a nice finish. Storm working against Big Ben. Now Herbert gets the D. Shot no good. Ball stripped away from Hunsaker. And they'll say Holton touched it last. It'll be Northern Illinois basketball. Bowen checks in quickly. Boy, Mark Montgomery, head coach of Northern Illinois, has wasted little time going to his bench. They've only played uh, less than four minutes. We've already seen about uh, what, nine players. Yeah. And we hear Coach Montgomery to the right of us yelling motion. I mean, watch their offense here. That's what they're looking to do. Get it around the perimeter, set the on the ball screens. He's just he's just yelling motion right here in front of us, cutting. You should see that here from their offense. Bowling won't go on the floor. Wolverines pick it up. Holton Hunsaker down to Gettys. Robinson again. It's like every time he yeah. gets the ball, it's the same move. I mean, it's incredible. And the thing is, is that most defenders don't <laughs> learn from it. You and know, it, and it's successful every time. Yeah, see this coming through here. You know, he's just going to collect, gather himself, pump fake, and get to the free throw line. Wolverines down by two. I'm Joe Luce, an anthropology student at UVU, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm sharpening my mind and my skills.
I'm Patty Garcia, a geology student at UVU, and this is Engaged Learning. At UVU, I'm learning by doing. Unofficially, Utah Valley one of four, Northern Illinois three of six. Northern Illinois with a two point lead, seven to five. Wolverines have three free throws and one basket. The basket from Gettys Robinson, who, while we were going to that break, you were talking about it, partner. He gets the ball, he goes in, he fakes. Yeah, check this replay. Just a, a beautiful pump fake. Gets number 44, Tyler Storm, up in the air. I mean, it's just all all the time that he gets that, that ball in the paint. He does a nice job of not, not rushing it. You know, he's, he's very calm, very collected, takes his time realizes that he is only 6'5 and a post player and so what he's going to do is he's going to outsmart defenders and he does that with a series of ball fakes, pump fakes and just a variety of moves. Well they missed the free throws and missed the layup. Huskies escape without giving up any points on that one. Still a two point lead for Northern Illinois. We're in Orem, Utah. Northern Illinois looking for their first win of the season. Utah Valley even so far this season. Three and three. Shot missed from the corner for three. That was Nixon. Still being fought for. And are they going to call a foul or are they going to say somebody kicked the ball? I think Holton was over the line, laying over the line when he tried to swipe that ball back into play. And ah. so, see if we can see the replay here. I think he was hanging out of bounds when he. Yep. He's a good three feet out, but that's not going to stop him. He, he <laughs> did a nice job of trying to get that ball back into play. Never know what the officials will miss, right? But you, my friend, never miss anything. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I do miss things. I, I, I'm not trying to say I don't. As long as it's not an anniversary, you're good to go. Trust, I just, yeah, trust I, me on that. I just know that's what I would have tried to do right there is do the same thing Holden did. Floater in the lane from little Zach Miller. He's only five foot eight, a guard. And guess what? He's a freshman. Yeah, they definitely have a young team, but like we talked about, Jim, you know, when you when you start playing, when you get in the game and you get in the flow, it doesn't matter if you're a freshman or a senior. If you've got the ability to play, you can perform. Nine to five. Ben Ayers, jumper from outside. Nope. Northern Illinois with yet another rebound. Wolverines are ice cold. One of six from the floor. Northern Illinois, four of eight, shooting 50%. They shot well over, they shot 56% in the second half against Boise State the other night. Miller missed that one. Wolverines on the run. Hubbard with it. Nice move down the lane. Really nice move. I, I want to see more of that from the Wolverines. Getting them out in transition. You know, they didn't get the basket in transition, but they were able to collect themselves. Holton with a nice handoff to Alfonso Hubbard, and what a beautiful finish. Spinning in between defenders and a nice finger roll at the rim. Alfonso Hubbard, a junior transfer from Salt Lake City Community College. Toller missed from three, but Northern Illinois with another rebound. And Alfonso comes away with it. Hubbard will push it ahead into the hands of Huntsaker. Zach Jones now. Now to Big Ben. He took that shot last time. Passes it up this time. Wolverines looking to tie with a two. Hubbard. Northern Illinois with their ninth rebound here in the early going. Let's see what Northern Illinois does on this offensive possession. We got Coach Montgomery in front of us. You know, that last possession, he was he yelled, cut him up, meaning off of this motion offense, they're just going to look to do a lot of cutting to the rim. They're running a play, a set play here, but you know, that's what they're trying to do is, is get those cuts going to the basket. Nixon works against Hubbard. Gives over to Bowling. Now right side for the jumper from Gray. And Hubbard with a rebound for UVU. Still 9-7. 12-20 to play, first half. First of three games this week for the Wolverines. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, they hit the road this week. There's your three-pointer from Kayavi. 
the Abby Enos transfer out of Mesa, Arizona. Didn't score Friday night against Oakland. He's already got three here tonight. Wolverines have the lead 10 to 9. The only other time they've led here in the first half, it was 1 nothing. Bolin working against Kayabi. Baseline drive now and a whistle before the shot. Foul against UVU. Takes us to a timeout. Wolverines up by one. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities. Dawn is breaking at Utah Valley University. 33,000 students are descending on campus. What are they after? Knowledge? Opportunity? They might be pursuing an MBA, an automotive certificate, or a bachelor's degree in philosophy. But despite their different paths, they share a common understanding. Utah Valley looking to snap a two game losing streak. Northern Illinois looking to snap a five game losing streak. And right now, neither team shooting lights out. Wolverines at 33%, Northern Illinois at 36%. 10 to 9, Wolverines leading by one. Rory Fannin into the game now for the Wolverines at center, replacing Ben Aird. It's Gray, Keith Gray. Now inside it goes. Nice play. In the layup from Jeremiah Jackson. Yeah, nice play there, run from Northern Illinois. Definitely trying to take a, take advantage of Rory Fannin, you know, guarding a smaller player on that play. Had a hard time coming off of that screen at the elbow. Side to Gettys. There it is again. It's the same move, no matter whether there's one, two, or three guys on him. Yeah. You know, once again, you, you don't see any adjustment made there from Northern Illinois. If, you know, if it's not broken, don't <laughs> fix it. I mean, he, he can get away with it until he is stopped. He can just keep going to that move. He averages a double double, 12 points and just a shade under 12 rebounds a game. Nobody can stop Gettys Robinson so far this year. Inside Christian shot no, nope. and a foul on the rebound. Going to go against Kaavi Enos of Utah Valley. Yeah, I think the Achilles heel of the Wolverines defense so far in this game has been their their ability to defend on the perimeter uh, against players driving to the basket. I mean that's that's what's really hurt their defense as we see the replay there. But see if the Wolverines can do a better job of defending on the perimeter because that's that's hurt them so far. Yeah, Ke Keavi didn't get him on the shot, got him on the rebound. This shot bounces around, comes off to Northern Illinois. Back up, nope. Rebound comes down to Nader and a whistle inside. They're going to call a held ball. Nope. Now they've changed their minds. They're going to call a foul on Keith Thompson. I think if it was up to Keavi Enos, it would have been a jump ball. See replay here, everybody in, mixing it up. Nice job of controlling the glass there. Definitely, I think they called that on Keith Jones coming in over the top there. Good hustle play, but when you have that many players in there, you know, it's, it's bound to be an offensive rebound. Fresh 35 to work with for Northern Illinois. Just under 10 and a half to play here, first half. Wolverines did lead it by one. Now Northern Illinois up by one. And we need to see a good possession here from the Wolverines. We've got Isaiah Williams running the point here, which is not what he normally does. But let's see who they go to offensively to get some points. Well, nobody's been able to stop this man. Gettys Robinson until now. 
Slapped away by Nader in Northern Illinois with the turnover on the run now. It's four. Pushes back out to Nader. Three. Missed it. Tracked down. Nope, went out of bounds. Wolverine basketball. Well, those are always the, the hardest shots to defend is those deep three-point baskets, especially off of a turnover there. I mean, if you're an offense like Northern Illinois and you're out in transition, you, you, you take those opportunities at the rim if you get them. But, you know, the second best thing is you know, getting one of those transition three-point shots. They didn't get it to fall, but a nice job of getting out off of uh, off of a turnover there um, on Gettys. Kevin Woods replaces Kayabi Enos. Isaiah missed his only shot so far here in the first half. 35 points Friday night. Gets teams' attention when they see that on tape. Zach Jones from outside. No. And who are they going to give this one to? Utah Valley. You know, Keith Thompson isn't going to get credit for that rebound, but he's the one that caused it. I mean, we'll see here the shot coming off. I don't even know if he gets his hands on the ball, but he does a nice job of at least being aggressive and, and forcing it off of the Northern Illinois player. Well, there's your All American. Isaiah Williams buries the three, his first points of this game. Wolverines up by two. And if he or Holton Hunsaker get hot from outside in this facility, look out. Northern Illinois. Christian up top to Gray. Tried to work it inside. Zach Jones knocked it out of his hands. Went off him out of bounds. Husky basketball. One thing I've noticed here too, Jim, is that w whether or not it's Kevin Gray or it's Keith Gray that gets the ball, no matter if it's in the short corner, if it's on the high post. And the, their first look, I don't think, it is to shoot. I think what they're looking to do is to drive the basketball. So Wolverine defenders have to be aware of that. You know, they're they're going to look to drive to the rim. Ten seconds on the shot clock for the Huskies to work with. They get it into Nader. Goes right at Keith Thompson. Shot partially blocked. No whistle. And Gettys Robinson pulls down a rebound. His first of the game. KT with it. Nice move, couldn't get it to go. Northern Illinois with a read. 15-13, Utah Valley over Northern Illinois. Eight and a half to play here in the first half. Nader picks it outside. Jumper wide open for three from Ford, missed it. Batted around and Gettys Robinson. Two consecutive rebounds for the Wolverines. Isaiah shaken, slipped down. Foul. Anton Christian. See the replay here from Isaiah. It looks like just a little bit of incidental contact there, but definitely kind of got tripped <laughs> up, and that was the reason. I don't think Isaiah would call that incidental. No, he, he wouldn't call it. <laughs> you know, if you were watching the NFL and that was uh, two wide receivers, you'd say that was yeah. incidental contact. Isaiah is heating it up from outside. We might see a show before this one's over. Back-to-back -back trays. He's got six, and the Wolverines lead by five. Yeah, Wolverines need a good defensive possession here. Northern Illinois going back to this spread them out, dribble handoff offense with a screen eventually. See if the Wolverines can stop it and keep their momentum. Jumper outside, air ball. Isaiah pulled it down. Nader missed it. Isaiah hesitated, now goes up with a two. Missed it. Northern Illinois possession. Can't complain about that offense. I thought for sure Isaiah was going to pull up for a three-point shot, but you know, a nice job of, of driving, creating a nice jump shot. Just didn't fall. Nader lobbed it in too high for Tim Toller. Toller, six foot seven, went over his head out of bounds. We've got a timeout on the floor. 7:19 to play first half. Wolverines. 18 to 13 lead over Northern Illinois.
11 different players have scored here in the first half between these two teams and it's just 18 13. You would think with 11 players scoring it'd be you know the game would be in the 30s at least. Isaiah leads the scoring attack for the Wolverines with six. Gettys Robinson with four leading score for Northern Illinois is Tim Toller with three. Five other players have two points each for the Huskies. Well, I think we look back at the initial keys to the game for both teams. We had talked about how important the defensive effort was going to be. I think uh, both teams have played very well defensively so far. Wolverines finding a little bit of a rhythm. So see if they can keep capitalizing. Isaiah inside hanging jumper. No and Ben Aird crashed the board. Might have went over somebody's back. No, they're going to say it fouls. Yeah, now they changed their mind. It is going to be on Ben Air. The Northern Illinois players were acting at first like it was against them. Yeah, post up there from Isaiah. It looks like Ben did get a little bit of a right arm push off there. And I believe that was 25, Tony Nixon. So it remains a five point lead with seven minutes to play here, first half. Northern Illinois led by four at one point. Wolverines right now on a six nothing run. Nice defensive steal there from Ben. Saw the ball going to be going inside. Did a great job of getting around front. Wow. After all of that, they call it travel. A pass off the backboard. That's what we'll call that one. Yeah, I think at, at that time, you know, it, there was good intentions behind that pass, but obviously it wasn't executed and, and a little bit too high there. The Wolverines got the ball back, but I think Coach Senseko would have liked a little bit more, you know, a little bit more composure there, come down and run a set rather than risk that type of turnover. And it obviously didn't pay off for him in the end. Husky basketball. That's Bowen. Now outside for the jumper from Miller. Fresh 35. Toller drives, reverse, nice. Wolverines lead is down to three. Yeah. He's coming up on six to play. I'm sorry, Jim. Ben was caught in a tough defensive position there. And there was a long rebound and a swing over to his end. He was all alone with isolation de defense there on Tim Toller. And Tim with a nice move to the rim. Inside to Gettys. Hesitates again, puts it in. Gettys Robinson, six points, two rebounds. Wolverines lead by five again. 5.40 to play till intermission. Yeah, Northern Illinois didn't have good weak side defense there. Nice entry pass in over the top and, and Gettys with the finish. Miller goes left side. They're working around, seven seconds to shoot. To the corner. Bolin for three. Huskies within two. Kind of like their offense. You know, they don't hold on to the ball and dribble and, and waste their dribble. They're, they're passing. They're moving the ball. It, it very rarely sticks in one person's hands for a long period of time. They do a nice job of, of ball rotation. Hunsaker for three. Missed his. Huskies with the rebound. Wolverines three of five from three-point land. Two of nine shooting for Northern Illinois from beyond the arc. Inside they go. Getting around Ben Aird. That time was Tim Toller. That was the exact same play that got Rory Fan in a little bit earlier in the game. Well, just making the big men of the Wolverines defend coming off of a pick on the elbow. And the Wolverines have struggled defending that so far. Whistle against Northern Illinois. Foul going to go against Zach Miller, his first. Team's sixth. Inbounds play comes in. Shot off the glass, no good from Hubbard. Northern Illinois with the rebound. Good offensive play run out of the end line play there. Good shot there from Alfonso. I think he looked like he was just a little bit too far away on the shot, a little bit more than what he was comfortable for, just barely a miss there. Zach Miller with it for Northern Illinois. 
Goes left side. Nader now. Long, towering jumper. And Wolverines are on the run. Isaiah open for three. There you go. 23 to 18. Or 23 to 20, my bad. You know, go back to what we said. Keys to the game, they watched their so shot selection. That was a, a terrible shot there from Adele Nader. And what did it turn into? And long rebound out in transition, three on two, Isaiah nailing the three. That, that was a bad shot. Ford misses it. Wolverines with another rebound. They're on the run again. Hunsaker over to Isaiah. Thought about a three. Instead, back to Holton. Now to Geddes Robinson. Up top to Isaiah. He'll jump a three. There you go again. Isaiah Williams. It took him a while to get warmed up, but 12 points now for Isaiah. The Wolverines lead it 26 to 20. 3.06 to play. We'll keep this one here as Mark Montgomery and the Huskies of Northern Illinois want to talk about it. Isaiah, if you joined us late, we talked about it in the supposed to be the pregame show. Isaiah had three points last Tuesday night at a game in Fayetteville, Arkansas against the Razorbacks, and he felt terrible. He felt like he had let the team down. He was despondent after the game. And uh, you could just see it in his eyes on Friday night when the team played Oakland University in, up in the Detroit area. He lit him up for a career high 35. Yeah, it was in a losing effort, but he did everything he could. Tonight, looks like he's comfortable again. Yeah, playing well. And, and that was a beautiful play because I, I saw initially what they were trying to do. Uh, when Isaiah passed it around out top, you know, they had Geddes Robinson in the post. They had Holton up top and Isaiah on the wing. Holton dribbled over to the wing. Isaiah came up top. Holton entry passed it into Geddes. And then Holton goes over and sets the screen for Isaiah to come over to the wing. It was beautiful offense. It, you know, it reminds me of the, you know, those, those preparations that we used to do when I was playing. You know, just those drills time and time again to get an open three-point shot. Christian hands it over to Nader. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Driving down, Storm. It's 26-22. Two and a half to play. He goes back to that same set. I mean, it's the same thing. A big man getting around the elbow, going to the rim. Wolverines have done a, not a very good job at all of defending that. Of course, the Wolverines into another turnover. That's their sixth. 2.22 to play. Wolverines lead it by four. We're in Orem, Utah. Back in 60. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on, practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities. Utah, Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Northern Illinois, Utah Valley. First half action, Utah Valley right now with a four point lead. They've led by as many as six. Northern Illinois has led by as many as four. The lead has changed hands six times. Been a fairly competitive first half. Husky basketball. Holton Hunsaker hits the deck again and draws the charge from Northern Illinois. Was it Bowling? No, we're going to call this one on uh, Gray, Keith Gray. You know, I think Holton said enough is enough with that play because they were going back to the same type of play. Number 32, Axel Bowling got the ball at the junction there, and he saw, I'm speaking of Holton, 
saw Keith Gray coming across to get that same action coming off of the high post. He just simply stepped in front and took the charge. So he knew that play was coming and a great, great awareness defensively. Eddie Robinson gives over to Hunsaker. 15 seconds on the shot clock. Under two minutes on the game clock now here in the first half. Working it around inside the Gettys. Kicks out wide open Hunsaker. Back rim, nope. Northern Illinois with the rebound. You know, Wolverines went to a flex offense there. You know, a flex offense is something you learn in, in very, very basic basketball. But got them move them, got them cutting, and they got a great shot on the uh, inside out play. See if the Huskies can cut this deficit down a little bit. There's a start right off the glass. Twenty six twenty four lead is just two for the Wolverines. Both teams shooting right at 40 percent here in the first half. Hubbard inside. Tried to reverse it. Hubbard's pretty quick once he gets the ball. Yeah and, and he did a very nice job there because when Getty's got the ball so close to the three point line he saw that there was an area underneath the basket and on that block and he did a great job of coming to the to the ball and then being creative on the baseline and, and getting a shot off. So yeah he, exactly I mean, he does a very nice job of seeing where he can cut to the ball and find open space and, and he did a very nice job there. Nader's first foul. Keith Gray has two nobody else with more than one for Northern Illinois. Nobody in foul trouble at all for Utah Valley which we haven't been able to say that I think all season long. Back end of two is good. It's a three point lead for the Wolverines. We're under a minute now to the break. Storm works against Robinson, kicks it right side to Christian. Bowling back to Miller, left side it goes. 12 seconds to shoot. Got a 20, what, 24 second differential. Three point attempt, no, and Hubbard skied for the rebound. <laughs> that one went off Northern Illinois. Hunsaker was a little surprised by that one, I think. Yeah, I think he was expecting Alfonso to dribble the ball up. Alfonso was looking to outlet a little bit. Fortunate break there for the Wolverines. They're going to get the last shot here. At least I, I would hope that they're going to take the last shot. They don't want to let Northern Illinois get, get a last second shot here. Probably going to try and get some type of a, of a high ball screen here. Ben Air going to come up and set a screen for Holton and let Holton create and, and try and get it to one of the you know, playmakers, either Isaiah or Afonso. Seven seconds. And Isaiah's hand slapped away on the floor, picked up. Isaiah just throws it up and air balled it out of bounds. Uh, no time showing on the clock. Yeah, we're reached halftime here at the UCCU Center. Very low scoring first half, 27 24 Wolverines of UVU over Northern Illinois by three. Back with your halftime show after this. Sylvia Bentley, an anthropology student at UVU studying ancient Peru, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm graduating with a diploma and a resume.
Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? Or a scientist? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. We're back to Orem, Utah. Jim McCall along with Matt Peterson. First half of action, Utah Valley leading Northern Illinois at halftime, 27-24. We'll talk more about statistics in, in just a while. These guys are coming in and they're not setting the foundation. They're building on it. They're taking that to the next step. And uh, there's a lot of faith and confidence in our program right now. When I came in, it seemed like the upper class kind of dominated the recruiting class and the freshmen. There wasn't many of the freshmen that could push them and get them better to compete at the national level. But now we have the freshmen coming in, they're competing for starting spot draft to get go, forcing the returners and the upperclassmen to get better and hone their skills a little. A lot of these young guys have all American throughout high school, so they have the confidence coming in, so they know they can do big things. We were able to get some good kids, and Ben Kerr, and Flint Ray, and Justin Morrill, you know, Brad Darrington, some of those guys, and we were able to get guys to nationals those first two years that we were um, eligible to go postseason. The reputation of the program has been growing in the Western United States especially, and it's really helped our recruiting. Uh, we were able to get the 11th ranked recruiting class this last year. We're, we're not used to that much talent in the room. Like everyone's improving so much week to week. And I think by the end of the year, we're going to be competing with those top teams. We're going to compete for a division title. In order to develop them, they have to have that mat experience. Um, getting the matches is great, but getting the matches against the guys they have to beat at nationals is, is the most important step. We're a lot younger than a lot of those you know, elite programs, but we can definitely give them a run for their money. This year we have as many as eight ranked teams. Um, a few of them, like Penn State, is the returning, you know, national champs and Boise State. We're going out and wrestling Cal Poly, Stanford, um, Wyoming. Those are all ranked teams. I think it's a great opportunity to show what we really have to shock the nation. Show them how good we are, how good we can be. It'll be an exciting season. We're really young, got a lot of talent, but. We'll go places this year. We know we're going in the right direction, and, and we're, we're super excited about our future. Yeah, the UVU wrestling program getting, uh, getting the word known out there. They are something to be reckoned with. In fact, they're going to take on the defending national champion Penn State Nittany Lions right here in the UCCU Center on February 11th. That one should be fun to watch. We're at halftime here at the UCCU Center. Utah Valley with a three-point lead over Northern Illinois, 27-24. Back with more halftime show coming up. I'm Sylvia Bentley, an anthropology student at UVU studying ancient Peru, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm graduating with a diploma and a resume. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? 
or a scientist. Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. We're at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah, home of Utah Valley University, where the Wolverines have a three-point lead at halftime over the Huskies of Northern Illinois, 27-24. I'm Jim McCullough. Hey, we're joined courtside by a very special guest now, UVU Athletic Director, Mike Jacobson. Mike, uh, good to see you, my friend. Oh, it's great to be here. Yep. Uh, and you're an old ball coach. Actually, you're a re uh, an, an ex-ball coach. You're not that old, young man. Uh, what do you think about the first half? Well, you know, it's uh, very typical to the first half we've played so far this year. You know, we're struggling a little bit, getting the, getting in a rhythm. And, um, you know, we had some big shots from Isaiah that really put us in a, in a good position. But, you know, we've got a – this is a team game, and we've just got to keep at it, keep battling. we got great kids and, uh, you know, great basketball players, and they're very skilled. And I'm confident we'll be able to come through and uh, have a nice second half. Now, you're the athletic director. Do you ever go into a locker room at halftime and tell the coach what he needs to do? You know uh, – <laughs> You'd like to do that, wouldn't you? No, I don't think I'd like to do that. When you've been on the other side, I don't think you ever, ever want to do that uh, for sure. Uh, coach knows what to do. He knows what's to, what has to take place, and he's a great coach and has a great strategy about what he has, and he motivates very well, and so we're confident that it'll, it'll all come together. All right, you're the man to tell us about UVU Athletics. We talked just a bit about uh, before that break about the wrestling program. They're going gangbusters. What else is going on UVU athletic-wise? Well, you know, a lot's going on. We're, this is a busy place, you know, not just our 34,000 students, but we got a little over 300 student athletes that are very busy and very active. Uh, they're great students. Um, our cumulative GPA last, last year was 3.21 for about 316 wow. student athletes, and so we're really pleased with that. Um, you know, so far there's been six conference championships this year, and we've won five of them, and uh, really, really happy with that. And uh, our plan is to continue to work hard and to build our programs and build our facilities and put ourselves in a great position. Everybody I talk to uh, around the Valley, when I mention that, you know, I'm involved with the UVU athletic program to a certain extent, they say, you know, those guys are really the up and coming guys in the Valley. I'm sure you hear that as well, don't you? I, I think people are starting to recognize us a little bit. It's been really a hard gig to, to pull together and get people to pay attention to who we are and what we're able to do. and. Uh, you know, we still have a ways to, ways to go. You know, you're in competition with uh, another great program right here in the Valley, and that for sure makes it difficult. But, uh, you know, we're getting better every year, and we're getting a better fan base every year, and uh, we just need to land in the right spot conference-wise, and I just think you're going to see this, this program just take off to where there's really no limits to what we can uh, what we can exceed. All right, you open the can of worms now. Land in the right spot. It, it has been crazy the last few months. It is a chaotic game of musical chairs with college teams all over the country going here, going there, saying they're going here, changing their mind, going here for football, going here with the rest of their sports. Is any of that, where's UVU falling all of that? We're just watching it, you know. <laughs> You know, all movement is good, you know, for us. It's really good, you know. Uh, we worked really hard uh, here, you know, five months ago to get into WAC, and that did not uh, did not work for us. Uh, you know, uh, we're continuing to contact the different conferences around. We want to be somewhat regional, you know, with, uh, with a conference, and, and that's kind of difficult, too. And so uh, we're, we're just doing all we can to prepare ourselves so we're – so when that time comes, we're ready to go, and I'm confident that time will come. We've got too many good things going on in our program for that opportunity not to, to be a part of who it is we are and what it, where it, the direction we want to go. And so uh, movement is good, and there's going to be in the next 10 days, there's going to be a lot of movement. And so we're looking forward to uh, hopefully being a part of that someplace. Did you say in the next 10 days? Yeah, I, I Do you think, know something the rest of us don't? No, I don't think so. I think, uh, I, you know, I think as uh, the Big East, as they expand and take some schools, and if they take some schools from the Mountain West, the Mountain West is going to want to infiltrate that with some other schools. And so I, I just think there's enough happening out there that uh, that we're going to we're going to find a niche for us. So if you could wave a magic wand today, and UVU would change whatever tomorrow, where would you be? Oh, I think we'd probably want to be in the, the Pac-12. <laughs> <laughs> All 
You know, you know, any other softball questions I can lob your way, just let me know. <laughs> you know, well, we rehearsed oh this goodness. all beforehand, yeah, so yeah. you know, uh, you know what yeah, was didn't coming. We? Oh, my goodness. You know, we'll be here all night, folks. Know, we, we just want to be regional. We want to be here where, where our fans can, can build an alliance to the schools that come in, and we can build some rivalries, and we can, you know, not be so far away that they don't know anything about the teams coming in. So we're just really hoping that something out west here will, will come to uh, come to fruition for us where there'll be an opening and they'll they'll want us and ho hopefully our downside will be um, overscored by the positives we have and, and we'll get that opportunity well I'm sure uh, I'm sure a lot of folks are taking a look because everybody that comes to this campus walks off saying holy cow they have phenomenal facilities here so good luck to you guys they're telling me we're about out of time athletic director Mike Jacobson thanks for taking the time out well thanks for giving me a little bit of time I appreciate it you bet we'll look forward to seeing thank you guys in the pack 12 thank you within 10 days We'll be back, second half action coming up here on UVU TV. Welcome to Utah Valley University, home to an educational philosophy that engages its students in hands-on, practical education. I invite you to learn more about one of Utah's largest, fastest growing, and most dynamic universities. section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! It's a three-point lead for the Wolverines of Utah Valley over the Huskies of Northern Illinois. About set to start our second half of action here at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah. I'm Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Matt, your thoughts about that first half before we get this one underway second half? Well, well pretty unique game. Just a couple things that I'd like to point out. Northern Illinois, 2 of 11 from the three-point line, and they didn't shoot a free throw. So, you know, that's something that I, I think the Wolverines need, you know, need to be commended on. Um, however, NIU has scored 14 points in the paint, and the Wolverines only have six points off of the bench, and they're getting out-rebounded 20 to 14. So we saw a number of different things. You know, hopefully throughout the second half we'll be able to tie those back into the keys of the game, but those are some unique things that we saw in that first half. Huskies start the second half with possession. Down by three. And that ball was tipped, they're saying, by Utah Valley. So it belonged to the Huskies of Northern Illinois. Uh, a lapse there de defensively on the defensive rebounds as you saw number three, Anton Christian crashing the glass there offensively, so gave them another offensive possession here. Toller. Toller's quite a story. Toller lost 40 pounds since last season. That was truly amazing. Shot no good. Rebound comes down to Gettys Robinson of UVU. We saw in the first half the Wolverines started off us offensively going inside to Ben. Ben Aird. Let's see if they start the same way here. 
Uh, Isaiah obviously came to life midway through that first half. See where they go offensively to start. Hunsaker. Missed it inside. Ben aired with a rebound. KT. That was a nice move, but couldn't finish. Aired, by the way, just two rebounds. He works harder than anybody I've ever seen. And sometimes just doesn't get the numbers to show for it. Four. Hunsaker diving for it. Hunsaker still diving for it. And a timeout called by Coach Dick Hunsaker as his son Holton diving on the floor. It'll be a 30 second timeout, but it will go to a full timeout. Clock stopped 18 and a half minutes to play here. Nobody scored yet here in the second half, still 27 24. I love that play there from Holton. I, I remember when I played for Coach Hensaker, he used to always use the, fr uh, the phrase, get parallel to the floor. And that's exactly what Holton did there. Anytime you see a loose ball, you see a ball on the ground that you have a chance to go for, you, get, you, you can think of that term, getting parallel to the, to the floor. And Holton did that twice there. A nice hustle play, getting possession and calling a timeout. By the way, we just saw a close up of the official yeah. writing in his little black book. What the heck do they write in that thing? I don't know. He's still right in front of us here. He's uh, jotting down some notes. Maybe we should. Well, we the, should close ask up, him. the close up was of the other official under the basket. The guy in front of us is still writing. I see. Yeah, who knows? It's pretty interesting. Northern Illinois in the first half shot 38%. Utah Valley shot 39%. Isaiah Williams 12 points in that first half. The only player in the game in double figures. Tim Toler had seven to lead the Husky scoring attack. I think it's pretty important here coming out in the second half for both teams to, to show some intensity and to, to show some life. And it'll get the, set the tone for the second half. They played a minute and a half and nothing but whistles so far. That was going to go against Northern Illinois. Keith Gray picks up his third foul, the first team foul of the half. Wolverines will trigger. Baseline. Hunsaker into Williams. Isaiah into the lane. A little floater. Missed it. And that should be a held ball. Yeah. Two officials agree on that one. A couple times in that first half, one of them would say held ball, and the other one would call a foul. Yeah, good offensive. Possession there for the Wolverines. You know, getting Isaiah the ball on the wing and just a nice job of driving middle. He just came up a little bit short on the on the pass. Nice inbounds play. Gettys Robinson scores. And the Wolverines are on the board in the second half. 29-24. Wolverines came in here averaging 69 points a game. Northern Illinois averaging 51. So this low score advantage to Northern Illinois, I would think. Yeah, they normally give up on the season 76 points a game. So this is this is a good effort defensively from them. Nader working against KT. Hunsaker comes in, slapping at the ball, commits the foul. His first, team's first. Yeah, you, you like the idea there from Holton, but I think he was a little bit over aggressive. Obviously, Abdel Nader had the ball on the high post. I think one swipe from Holden would have been good there, but I think he went for a couple extra and got called for the foul. Uh, I like the, I like the idea. You know, if he's not looking, try and strip it away, but you know, don't be too aggressive. Christian puts up the jumper. Rebound Utah Valley. Hunsaker lost the dribble out of bounds. It might have went off a Husky player, so it will be the Wolverines' ball. I don't know about you, Jim, but I'm just kind of getting that feeling like I'm waiting for one of these teams to kind of make make a run. You know, just just yeah. try and, and make a run here. It just seems like it's going back and forth. Neither team can get separation. We'll see if that can happen because I, I don't know with how the, the game's gone so far. Keith Thompson trying to work his way in. Instead, gets it back out. Ten seconds to shoot. Stolen away. Nader. Their first basket 
of the second half comes on a Wolverine turnover, and it's a three-point deficit for the Huskies right now. So just under 17 minutes left. Ben Aird. Up top to Isaiah. There's a three. Back rim. Northern Illinois with a rebound. Nice sky job by Nader. Yeah, Wolverines are struggling in the offensive sets there. They're just forcing things and don't look like they have much rhythm. You know, their defense has kept them in the game here. See what uh, Northern Illinois can do on offense. Hunsaker goes for the steal, missed it. Baseline drive is cut off. Strong tried to go. Robinson cut him off. There's another baseline drive the other way. No foul call. Shot from the corner for three is good. And folks, we are tied at 29. Yeah, that was a, a good job of rotating. I think every Northern Illinois player touched the ball on the on the perimeter around the three-point line on that possession. Hunsaker missed it. Tipped by Ben Air. Good. Big Ben for five points now. His first shot from the floor. So this offense just designed to burn time off the clock? Well, I think what they were trying to do there is we get another deep shot in the corner there. But I think what it was trying to do is to do those dribble handoffs, getting Zach Miller coming around, as we see a transition three from Holton come up short. But I think that that was trying to work the ball around and they were trying to post up Tim Toller. It just didn't happen that they got it inside. You know, got it swung along the baseline to uh, to Tyler Storm for the three point shot. Game will stop because Nader had a little blood on his arm. That brings us to another media timeout anyway. 15-15 to play. Wolverines nursing a two point lead here in Orem, Utah. Dawn is breaking at Utah Valley University. 33,000 students are descending on campus. What are they after? Knowledge? Opportunity? They might be pursuing an MBA, an automotive certificate, or a bachelor's degree in philosophy. But despite their different paths, they share a common understanding. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? Or a scientist? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. It's a two-point game here in Orem. Utah Valley, 31, Northern Illinois, 29. 15 minutes and change left in this one. Holton Hunsaker, 0 for 6 from the floor for Utah Valley. When your point guard goes 0 for 6, it just that, is that why suddenly they just haven't got anything going? Yeah, I, I think Holton's definitely struggled shooting the ball. But I don't think that's that's it because there's obviously four other players out on the court. Holden hasn't shot the ball well tonight, but I just think offensively the Wolverines haven't had any rhythm. They they just haven't they haven't looked good to be to be honest. And as I said, their their defense has kept them in this game. And Northern Illinois, you know, you're not just saying that the Wolverines' offense is bad. Give a lot of credit to them because they they played a heck of a defensive game also. Baseline jumper is no good. Hubbard might have got him. Foul on Alfonso Hubbard. Well, we're talking about Hunsaker, and he's on the bench right now. It's replaced by Kevin Woods in that lineup. Keith Thompson replaced by Alfonso Hubbard. Well, I'll, I'll, I think that you know, as we get we about, what, 15 minutes left in the game, I think we're going to see heavy doses of what we just saw there from Northern New Orleans. Spreading it around the perimeter, trying to get those dribble handoffs. Off of some of the dribble handoffs, try and post up players like Tim Toler. Or if they get it out into the perimeter player's hands, like on that play, to Tony Nixon or to Abdel Nader, they're going to try and create. 
They're going to try and get their offense going. And I think we'll see a lot of that in the last 14 and a half minutes here. Ben Air gives off to Keavi. Inside to Gettys. Over to Ben. A little floater. Missed it. Got his own rebound. Keavi for three. Keavi Enos. Nails the three pointer. His fifth of the season. And the Wolverines are out. 34 29. Yeah, Ben got that ball stripped away from him, but a good job of collecting it, kicking it out to Enos for the nice three. Miller, all 5'8 of him, dishes off to the right side. Storm with the drive, back outside to Miller. He'll jump the three. And Gettys Robinson pulled down the board. Yeah, here we go. I mean, this tempo is what the Wolverines need. They need to get out and they need to get going. Hubbard, fade away. Missed it. And Zach Miller comes away with that loose ball rebound. You know what I think what you'd like to see there from Alfonso Hubbard, he had the smaller player, Zach Miller. He, he took the fadeaway jump shot. You'd like to see him maybe try and back that down, get closer to the rim for the shot. Bowen drives in off the glass too hard, batted around, and Kevin Woods pulls it down for Utah Valley. He'll push it up court. Three on two. Left side it goes. Kayavi lost the handle. Gathers it back. Hubbard. Shot good. Yeah, defensive breakdown there for Northern Illinois. I like how Kevin Woods is getting the team going in transition. He's done a nice job. He was the one that rebounded that right underneath the basket and took it up the floor. And Northern Illinois just didn't have time to recover defensively. And, and we go back to, to Alfonso Hubbard. You know, he does a nice job of finding space. He found the baseline opening there and uh, had a nice layup. 36-29, Wolverines by seven. They're on a seven nothing run since the game was tied three minutes ago. Northern Illinois had tied things up for the seventh time, or for the third time. The lead has changed hands six times in this game, and we've had three ties. And uh, Ben Aird, you know, he's working hard, but the, the, the numbers really aren't there, but he is working hard. Yeah, I mean, he's doing a nice job inside. You know, it's just sometimes you can't get those shots. I mean, he had a couple shots he had that one handed floater on the previous possession where he got the ball back on the kick out. But I mean you're right. And, and that's all you can ask is that you keep going you keep competing. I think that's going to be the message to the Wolverines is just keep competing. You know they're in a good spot. If I'm coach Montgomery I'm saying the same thing to my team. I'm saying hey look this is you know this has been a game of short little runs and I think that they've weathered those runs here. I, I, I think this will be a pretty good pretty important possession for Northern Illinois. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised to see Abdel Nader get a little bit involved whether it be on a post play or some type of you know some type of perimeter drive. This little seven nothing run that Utah Valley's on is the biggest by either team. Husky basketball 1245 to play. Shot blocked. Wolverines possession. Yeah, that was that was good defense there. That was a, a play that I'm surprised we haven't seen a little bit earlier. Hubbard. Officials are looking at each other. One of them needs to make the call. Charge it is. His second. Yeah, I think that was a good call there. You got number three, Anton Christian coming over taking the charge. It's so hard when you're when you're in that position that Alfonso was in there driving to the rim. It's so hard to stop your your momentum on a dime there. And you know, that's one of those times where you know obviously looking back you, you know, would have wished or hoped that he could have just stopped a little bit short and shot it. But uh, credit Anton Christian coming over taking the charge. So the Wolverine lead remains at seven with 12 22. Toller 40 pounds lighter of him. Kicks it back outside for the jumper. No, nope, and a whistle on the rebound against Northern Illinois. Uh, great, great rebound there by Keavi Enos. You know, he's definitely not the tallest guy on the court, but he did a very nice job on the defense. See this inside position that he had. You know, forced Anton Christian to go over his back. Second foul on Christian. Team's second here in the second half. And look at this, Jim. We've got Northern Illinois going to his own. So they're definitely... They're changing things up here a little bit. And the purpose of that? Just well, I, I think probably, you know, 
maybe trying to force the Wolverines to shoot the, the three-point shot a little bit more. You know, we'll see here once again. Alfonso Hubbard finds that just kind of that niche on the baseline there in the zone and did a nice job of squaring his shoulders to the backboard and going up for the shot. So I think it may have been a couple of things, maybe just to try and get the Wolverines out of a little bit of a rhythm, you know, maybe just throw them off for a possession or so. But they had a, a, a breakdown there because Alfonso did a, did a good job of finding that short corner. Tim Toller's first personal, team's third. 12 minutes even to play here at Orem, Utah. Utah Valley looking for their fourth win of the season. It's a 9 nothing run right now for UVU. Now we may see some type of play here between uh, Abdel Nader and Tim Toller. It's like they've got the ball in his hands, and yep, there's a handoff. Nader, jumper. Nope. Kevin Woods, goodness gracious. Kevin Woods is only 6'1". Ben Aird, he's 6'9". And cannot get it to go. There you go. I'm, I'm talking. Yeah, ben Aaron yeah. works hard, works hard, and the numbers just don't show up for him. A charge back the other way. That one on Christian. Wow. That'll bring us to a timeout. 11 and a half to play. Wolverines on a 9 0 run. They lead it 38 29. Valley University. Your life, your beat, your university. There's your charge coming back the other end. Utah Valley by nine. We were tied with 16 minutes to play. Now we're at 11 28. UVU on a 9 0 run. And interesting, they're doing a lot of this without their starting point guard, Holton Hunsaker, in the game. Yeah. I mean, you definitely have Kevin coming in, and I think he's played extremely well. You know, he's given the team uh, good life. Now, you're not going to have your point guard play his best game every single game, and, and I think Kevin's done a nice job coming in and performing. Hubbard over to Keith Thompson. 18 seconds on the shot clock. It's Kevin Woods over to Hubbard again. Keith Thompson, eight seconds. This is off Kayavi for three. Got it. Now we haven't said enough about him. I mean, he, he's come in. I believe that's his third three of the game. And you know, he's, he's stretched the defense. It, it's always true when you can get some guys that can shoot threes like Isaiah and like Kayavi, you can stretch that defense. Dishing off, driving in. It was Nader, but the foul is going to be called against UVU's been aired. Yeah, this is something that we're going to see is because Tim Toller's got Ben Aird guarding him and uh, Abdel Nader has Keith Thompson. You know, that play they've just tried to screen and get one another open off of these plays. I think those are going to be the two main offensive players. UVU on a 12 nothing run. This lead the biggest for either team. Toller for three. Missed that one. Kevin Woods pushes it up court. Senior takes it to the hole. Yeah. 
Nice move from Kevin Woods. Yeah, absolutely. First two points of the game for him. You know, I think he was initially looking to go into Ben on the transition play, but he saw the opening. Ben did a nice job of holding his defender off. Kevin with the up and under finish. Here come the Wolverines again. This time it'll be Hubbard. Shot blocked. Ben Air tracks it down for the Wolverines. Under 10 minutes left in this one. Wolverines right now, 14 nothing run. Wolverines led at halftime, 27-24. 10 seconds to shoot for Keith Thompson. Now Woods. Out to Keith. He sees the shot clock, puts it up. And Northern Illinois with the rebound. Ford takes it all the way. Shot off the glass is good. And was fouled on the way. Kevin Woods got him. Yeah, great play there from Ford as we see here. You know, just coming right down the lane and a definite foul there from Kevin Woods. That's the hardest play for a defender when you've got an offensive player coming full steam at you right on those lane lines, you know, right on the on the free throw lines coming right down at you. And just Kevin wasn't prepared there and a good good offensive move there to finish. Well, that stopped that 14 nothing run yep. that the Wolverines run and puts Ford at the line. Yeah, that was a critical basket there. You know, we hear Coach Montgomery right in front of us yelling, get out and run, get out and transition. And he clearly understands what his team needs and, and what's best for his team. Coming up a nine to play. Wolverines by 12. Kayabi hasn't missed a shot yet. Kevin Woods misses from long two. Huskies. Ford gives it up to Nader. See, we've got this, you know, this weaving here. Shot for three. Did Keith Thompson get a piece of it? Kayabi, instead of going for three, well, now he will go for three. Missed it, had a good look at it. Husky basketball, 8.24 to play, and Coach Mark Montgomery, head coach of Northern Illinois, up quickly wants to take a timeout. Talk to his team about something. Yeah, let's go back to those keys to the game. You know, the we talked about for Northern Illinois that they're going to have to watch their shot selection. And I think these last couple of possessions, they've had bad shots. You know, you got that long three-point shot there from Tim Toller, and then on the last play from Abdel Nader. Isaiah Williams, 12 points. All of those were in the first half, though. He was four of eight in the first half. He's missed his only two shots here in the second half. All-American from Chicago came in here averaging 17.8 a game. I was going to say, going back to the bad shot theory, you can always tell it's a bad shot when you, you see your coach after a long three-point shot raise his hands high in the air. You know that, you know that you've know that you taken a bad shot, and, and that's what Coach Montgomery's done on the last couple of possessions here. Now, now tell here. the truth. When you took a bad shot, did you ever even bother to look at the head coach? Never. <laughs> Never, because if it, because yeah. trust me, you know when it's a bad shot. You, you're not looking over there. You're just waiting for the sub to come in. Yeah, exactly. Husky basketball, 8:15 left in this one. Wolverines are up by 12. They'll work it inside, and the foul's going to be called on Keith Thompson of UVU. Yeah, that was good offense there. Abdel Nader got the screen action with Jeremiah Jackson there. And we see here, there was a switch for the Wolverines. So Keith Thompson, who normally would be guarding Abdel Nader, was forced to guard an interior player in Jeremiah Jackson. Gettys Robinson stepped out to guard Nader, and uh, I think it was a good recognition there by Nader just dumping the ball in on, on a possible mismatch. I'm not saying it was a mismatch. I'm just saying it wasn't who they normally were guarding because of the switch. Interesting formation on the inbounds play. Northern Illinois looking for help. They throw it away in the backcourt. Put it in the hands of Tony Nixon. Bowling back into the game as Nader took a seat. Looking to get this Husky offense untracked. Shooting 31% for the game. Driving in is Zach Miller. And a foul going to be called on Kevin Woods. That brings us to a timeout. 7.49 left here in Orem, Utah. 
Utah Valley 43, Northern Illinois 31. It's a 12 point lead for the Wolverines right now. Dawn is breaking at Utah Valley University. 33,000 students are descending on campus. What are they after? Knowledge? Opportunity? They might be pursuing an MBA, an automotive certificate, or a bachelor's degree in philosophy. But despite their different paths, they share a common understanding. Think back to when you were a child. What did you dream of becoming as an adult? A pilot? A teacher? A nurse? Maybe a mathematician? A mechanic? Or a scientist? Now imagine a place where everyone is focused on your success. Imagine an education that is personal, engaging, fun, and professional. With an education from UVU, all of this becomes true. Utah Valley University. It's your dream. It's your university. We're in Orem, Utah. Jim McCullough along with Matt Peterson. Utah Valley with a 12-point lead right now over Northern Illinois. I don't know if it's good defense, Matt, or poor offense for Northern Illinois, but they're only shooting 18% in the second half. Yeah. You know, I think you got to give some credit to the Wolverines defense, but uh, I also think that Northern Illinois has struggled a little bit in their sets, and they've missed some shots that probably in the first half they were making, but you, know, you can't you can't hide the fact that they aren't shooting the ball well in, in the second half here. Miller's free throw is the first free throw made by Northern Illinois in the game. And if you keep missing them and putting them back for two, that's a good strategy. Yeah, those are critical mistakes there, critical errors. Never want to give off an off, give up an offensive rebound off of a missed free throw. One of five from the stripe, UVU, six of ten. Ben Aaron finally gets something to go down, bless his heart. 45-34. And what I like about that play, Jim, is he wasn't trying to fade away. He wasn't trying to go even just straight up. He went into the defender there, and he was aggressive and got it to fall. Ben, a true sophomore, started every game last year as a freshman, all 30, as did Holton Hunsaker, who's out there at point guard again. So those two guys are... Currently on a 37 game streak. They've started all 37 games as freshmen and sophomores. You know, looking at Ben Aird here, he's been very active on the defensive end because a lot of what the Wolverines are doing on the perimeter is switching. So that last play, Ben and Alfonso Hubbard were switched. And I think pay attention to that because that's going to, it could be a factor on some of these plays where maybe Ben has to guard a more perimeter oriented player outside. And, See if there's a, a dribble drive opportunity after that. Five seconds to shoot. Miller, baseline. He traveled. He was looking to dish that off. There's no way they would have got a shot off anyway. Yeah. Good defensive awareness there from the Wolverines. 11 point lead for UVU, 6.45 to play. Hunsaker has done a good job, and again, he's one of those guys that doesn't have a lot of points or numbers to show for it. 0 for 6 from the floor, but he's run the offense fairly well. Northern Illinois. Shot blocked by Big Ben. And we almost got to meet Holden Hunsaker up close and personal on that one. <laughs> I think that was a clear foul. We had a pretty good view for that one, right? <laughs> yeah. Zach Miller picked up the foul, knocking Holton Hensaker into our broadcast nest here at courtside. It's the closest we've been to the game all night right there. Jump on in there, partner. I know yeah, you're dying I, I, to I'd play. To. Yeah, yeah, that'd be yeah, good. Yeah. You got eligibility left? No. Sadly. Well, you know, if you had a twin brother. Yeah. You could. Could make it happen. Yeah, you could. we could make that happen somehow. Isaiah, quiet second half, feeds Big Ben inside. Too hard. Gettys Robinson rebound, fakes, back up and in. Will they count it? I think so. Gettys Robinson, yeah, they will count the basket. 
Foul's going to go against Keith Gray. Yet he's 10 points, unofficially 10 points, nine rebounds. Told you in the pregame show, he averages a double double, 12 points and right at 12 rebounds. So he's one rebound away. I think he's had a double double in every game except one this mm -hmm. season. No, that, that was a, a clear offensive set designed to get Ben the ball as Gettys finishes that free throw. Once again, Ben did a nice job of going up into the defender, not fading away on the shot. Even though he missed it, Gettys had a nice seal on the weak side for the putback. Ford weaving in the lane. Holton Hensager trying to draw the charge, but instead Holton being called for the foul. Just under six to play here. At the line is Ford. And the shooting woes continue from the free throw line for Northern Illinois. One of six. Make it one of seven. Hunsaker slides down. Ball on the floor. Northern Illinois. Three on two. Bowling. You know, we're going to get some pressure here. Looks like a little bit of a full court pressure, man to man, by Northern Illinois as we're closing in on the end of the game here. That's just one thing you can't have in this situation. The game is a turnover on offense. Hunsaker, left side, got it. It's a 14 point lead for UBU. You join us late. Wolverines led by only three at halftime 27 24. Turn around, baseline jumper, no. Rebound Wolverines. Gettys Robinson, there's your double double. 11 points, 10 rebounds for the senior from the Bronx. We're going to see motion offense here from the Wolverines. You're going to see a good shot selection. You're not going to see anything forced. You're going to see them use the shot clock. They're not going to force anything. Ben aired. He's working it in on that side every time, it seems like. Ben's got nine points and seven boards. Yeah, a good possession there. That's what the Wolverines need. Just be patient, work that ball inside. UVU's biggest lead, 16. Isaiah fouls. Christian on the way to the hole. They'll count the basket. 417 to play. Yeah, see the nice draw, drive there by Christian and Isaiah was put in a tough position there. <laughs> like much of a foul. I mean, I, maybe they called the body. I didn't see the actual uh, call from the official there, but maybe got him a little bit underneath. But it's what the Wolverines are going to have to be prepared for in the last 417. They've got to be prepared for Northern Illinois to get into their offense quick and then go to the basket. Speaking of quick, Isaiah to the hole. And a blocking foul as Isaiah scores his first two points in the second half. Took him almost 16 minutes to do it. Isaiah's got 14 points. Yeah, just a nice drive here. Miller was put in a tough spot because you know, had no choice but to try and get in front of Isaiah and, and gets called for the foul. Obviously trying to draw the charge, but wasn't in position to do so. 15 points for the All-American. UVU out in front now, 55-38, their biggest lead of the game. Long three, nope. Holton Hunsaker to KT. Yeah, they need to run some clock here. Oh, nice feed. Gettys. Foul from behind. Or hit Gettys for a, for a wide open layup. Either one works. 352, that foul called against Northern Illinois. Number 44, that's Storm, his second. 55 38, Wolverines by 17. I'm Joe Luce, an anthropology student at UVU, and this is my classroom. At UVU, I'm sharpening my mind and my skills.
Patty Garcia, a geology student at UVU, and this is Engaged Learning. At UVU, I'm learning by doing. Isaiah Williams, 15 points. Gettys Robinson, a double-double, 11 points, 11 rebounds. Kayavi Enos off the bench with nine points. Ben Aird with nine points. Alfonso Hubbard off the bench with seven. Wolverines lead at 55-38. It's the first of three games this week for the Wolverines. They hit the road tomorrow, head up to Laramie, Wyoming, take on the Cowboys of Wyoming Wednesday night, and then return home to the UCCU Center on Friday, hosting Haskell. Both those games, 7 o'clock start. Right now, 3.52 left here. Gettys Robinson at the line for the Wolverines. First one, no. Gettys on the season came in here, 63% free throw shooter. Tonight, one, one of, make it two of six. Unofficially. 18-point lead for the Wolverines. Baseline jumper for three. No, Ben Aird with another rebound. Well, the Wolverines, three and three on the season, have won all three at, at home. They've lost all three games they've played on the road. It looks like they're on their way to victory number four here at the UCCU Center as Isaiah misses a three. Miller gives over to Christian. 3.15 left. Shot left side. That was Nader. Ben Air with the rebound. You know, at this point in the game, defensively for the, for the Wolverines, I'll say offensively because they've got the ball, that, that clock is your biggest friend. You, know, you just want to run the clock down. Don't force any shot. Get that clock down under 10, di under 10 seconds, and then you can, you can get into your offense. Defensively, it's just the basics. You know, block out, rebound, don't give up any second shots, and don't turn the ball over. Isaiah with 10 seconds. Now to Holton. Five seconds. Started to go up with the shot, slapped away. Breakaway. Nader. Now, the shot clock was winding down, and Holton knew it. As you say, got caught in a bad spot. Yeah, got caught in a bad spot. And, and you know, when I say run the clock down, you, know, you, don't, you don't you don't want to run it down to the very last well, they, second. They I mean, did it. Yeah, they did. I mean, that's that's fine. But but they gave up a, they gave up a uh, you know a, an easy dunk in transition there. Gettys Robinson to go along with those 11 rebounds. You don't see it there. He does have 12 points tonight as well. Gettys with yet another double double, 12 and 11. That's exactly what he averages on the season. 12 points and 11.8 rebounds. I think, Jim, here what we're going to see is some full court pressure. I'd be surprised if we didn't. You know, two and a half minutes left. It looks like they are going to going to extend the, the play here, and they're going to get some full court pressure going. So obviously look, uh, look for Holton to handle the ball as well as Isaiah. Northern Illinois backs out of that press. We're under two and a half to play here in Oral. Coach Dick Hunsaker has his five starters on the floor right now. With about two minutes left in this one. And Wolverines by 16. Turnover there from Isaiah Williams stepped on the baseline trying to post up. Good idea here. Just I thought they were going to call him for a hook there, but first called for the stepping out of bounds. He either stepped out of bounds or he dribbled that last yeah. dribble yeah. out of bounds. Pretty pretty close. Couldn't quite see it from that replay. Isaiah takes a seat, replaced by Kevin Woods. Kayavi Enos also back into the game. Holton Hunsaker takes a seat. And Northern Illinois almost threw it over here in our laps again. A minute 48 left. Bowling, kind of an off-balance shot. Nope. 
tracked down by Gray, Kevin Gray. And he's fouled immediately by Keith Thompson. Clock stopped a minute 43 left. Kind of uh, two mistakes there, obviously giving up the offensive rebound and then committing a foul and putting Northern Illinois at the free throw line. Where they are terrible tonight. They're yeah. just one of eight from the stripe so far tonight. Make it one of nine. Gray missed that one. If Gray's able to make this shot, you're going to see more pressure from Northern Illinois. Well, what you're seeing here, I think, partner, is you've got a Northern Illinois team. They won. They, they beat UVU last year by 10 up at their place, and they graduated a ton of guys. Yeah. They've got eight freshmen on this team and, and a brand new coach. So all yeah. those factors together, you know, they're going to make some mistakes. They're going to make a lot early in the season. Yeah, and you, we watch this game, and we see how hard they compete. I mean, you, you can't say that they're not out there competing and trying their hardest because they definitely are. You know, and so that that's definitely something. It's so hard, as we, we've talked about. Uh, at length there, they do have the eight freshmen. So they, they've got a lot to look forward to. You know, their record, they've struggled this year. But, you know, you, you get your guys some playing time. It's like, a lot like the Wolverines last year. Playing a lot of freshmen, get them that experience. It's only going to pay dividends in the long run. Woods takes a long two. Northern Illinois cleans the glass. Tony Nixon. Long lead pass to Jackson. Lead is 14. A minute left here at the UCCU Center. Kayavi goes to the hole and is fouled by Jeremiah Jackson. Nice move there. Got the ball. Immediately made his first move to the basket. Didn't try and go around the defender. Nice job there by Kayavi. Kayavi Enos. Sophomore transfer. Played at Mesa Community College, then served an LDS mission to Jackson, Mississippi. Originally from Mesa, Arizona, so he's a sophomore. He's got three seasons of eligibility left. They'll need him as Wolverines will be graduating some major players this season in the form of Isaiah Williams, Gettys Robinson, Keith Thompson. Okay, Abby will be asked to carry the load a lot more next year. Makes them both. 58-42. Clock winding down, the final minute of this one. Nixon puts his head down and drives. Draws the foul from Taylor Brown. Taylor hasn't seen any minutes tonight. He's nursing uh, three stitches over his left eye that he got at Arkansas in a collision with somebody. He said, I don't even know what happened. All of a sudden, there's just blood running all down my face. Makes you look tough, though, right, with those stitches? Uh, well, it makes him look tough, that's for sure. Yeah. I was uh, concerned when I saw him the next day that his eye was going to be swollen shut. He wouldn't be able to see much action. Three throws make it 58-44. Wolverines just letting that clock roll wind. Will Sinclair into the game, freshman from Australia. Wolverines starters are all on the bench now. With this one safely in hand, 58-44. Wolverines are run their record to four and three. Pretty interesting that they they win them all at home and lose them all on the road. Kevin misses the jumper from outside. Northern Illinois, we'll see if they can cut this deficit down a little bit. There's a long three-pointer from Tony Dixon. And you know, collectively, every Husky player out there is going, where has that been the whole game? Why couldn't any of those fall in earlier? Yeah, I think there was that where they kind of got themselves behind, obviously, was that run that the Wolverines had. I think it was, what, a 13 to 1 run? 14. 14. 14-0 14 run. So, I, I, you know, that was, you know, what, 12 minutes left, 14 minutes left, something like that left in the game. And that's definitely where Northern Illinois got behind. You know, but they've played very hard. They've battled themselves back in, in, at the end of this game here. And you're exactly right. You know, where has that been? It's just so critical that at those times when you need those shots to fall that they do. And, 
Unfortunately, Northern Illinois didn't have that early on in the second half here. Neither team shooting lights out in this one. Northern Illinois 35% on the game, UVU 38%. UVU has hit seven of 17 trays. Meanwhile, Northern Illinois four of 19. Free throws, Wolverines have got them by eight. Wolverines have made 11 of 16. Northern Illinois three of 12. Leading scorers in the game, Isaiah Williams with 15 for UVU. And uh, it's Nader with eight for Northern Illinois. Three players in double figures for Utah Valley. Isaiah Williams with 15. Gettys Robinson with 12. Kayavi Enos off the bench with 11. Taylor Brown get it into Kayavi for the final few ticks of this one. Northern Illinois will not contest it. And that's how this one's going to end. 58 47. Wolverines win it by 11. Wolverines now 4 and 3 on the young season. Meanwhile, Northern Illinois falls to 0 and 6. We're going to take a break. We'll be back with our Costa Vida post game show. Coach Dick Unsaker joins us in a minute. Come join the student section and cheer for the Mighty Wolverines. Mighty Athletic Wolverine League sports passes are now available. Your mall pass gets you tickets to every NCAA home game, free food at the tailgate parties, prizes at the games, and lots of new friends. Get more information on their Facebook page or by calling Campus Connection at 801-863-8797. Go UVU! If you're serious about going to college and getting a head start on the process, come get a feel for what university life is like. UVU Days are designed with you in mind. UVU Days are department-specific events held on Saturdays that will allow you to become a student for a day. These events are free and breakfast and lunch are served. For more information, dates, and times, please visit our website at www.uvu.edu forward slash future students. Come experience what UVU has to offer in your field of study. <laughs> I guess I really got green fever when, like, I found out how Utah Valley University can get me a great education. Are you here for zombies? <laughs> this is green fever. <laughs> zombies meets down the hall, room 1023. <laughs> Costa Vida was born on the beach, so the coast inspires how we prepare everything from our crisp salads to our irresistible burritos. And with more fresh sauces and salsas to choose from, meals at Costa Vida are truly a custom experience. Costa Vida, the coast is calling. Back at the UCCU Center in Orem, Utah, Utah Valley has won their fourth game of the season with a 58-47 victory over Northern Illinois. We're joined courtside now by victorious head coach Dick Hunsager. Coach, congratulations on the victory. You mentioned in one of our postgame shows uh, last week that your team had a lot to learn. Did they learn anything tonight, and are you happy about what they learned? Well, we trudged through a tough game. We won against the Mid-America Conference opponent. The MAC is a solid, eh, you know, mid-major type conference. We haven't had a win against a Mid-American Conference level team, so I should be very pleased with the win. Um, I wasn't, I'm still foggy why our energy wasn't a little bit better, a little stronger, but we got good play out of our bench. We got 20 points, season high off the bench, and that was instrumental in the victory. Uh, your guard play, I know you weren't happy with them at Arkansas. They really seemed to turn it on Friday night at Oakland. How about tonight? Well, our bench is guards. Uh, Kevin Enos and Kevin Woods did a nice job. You know, Isaiah Williams threw those bombs in that kept us going <laughs> in the first half. Yeah. Uh, Holton, uh, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm kind of beside myself with uh, what he needs to do better to run our team. Uh, but we're going to keep fly, fighting. Uh, Keith Thompson uh, arguably had his best game of the year uh, for us and, uh, and didn't score a point. Well, so that's how basketball goes. Uh, we're getting ready for Wyoming. Congratulations, Coach. We'll Thank talk you. to you on Wednesday. Coach Dick Hunsaker sees his uh, Utah Valley Wolverines win this one 58-47. Uh, do we need to take another break here, guys, or do we uh, 
Okay, well, let me just do the stats real quick for our folks at home. Uh, pretty impressive while we're waiting for Matt to sit back down. He probably ran and got a hot dog or something. Isaiah Williams leading the scoring attack for the Wolverines. 15 points for Isaiah Williams. Gettys Robinson, a double-double. 12 points, 11 rebounds. Keavi Enos off the bench, 11 points. There you see the team comparison, 58-47 the final score. Both teams hitting 20 shots from the floor. Three-pointers in UVU's favor. Free throws big time in UVU's favor and rebounding in UVU's favor. Uh, other other scoring for you, Ben aired nine points, nine rebounds. Keith Thompson, coach, coach said Keith played a great game. He didn't score a point, but Keith Thompson had four rebounds, one assist, and three block shots in just 21 minutes of action. Uh, Holton Hunsaker, one of seven for the from the floor, just two points, three assists. Matt's back, by the way. Thanks, Matt, for showing up. No problem. <laughs> Kevin Woods, two points, four rebounds. Alfonso Hubbard, seven points. And then uh, four other players got some action and did not score in this game in the form of Zach Jones, Taylor Brown, Rory Fannin, and Will Sinclair. Uh, leading score for Northern Illinois, they were led by Abdel Nader, Nader with eight points. All right, Matt, uh, your take on all this stat stuff. Well, I think that it was – one of those games where there was runs, there was, you know, spurts, uh, players played well. You know, Isaiah had that streak of, you know, three-point shots, and then Keavi had that shot of, you know, that streak of three-point shots as well. Um, I, I was very impressed kind of with what Coach said, obviously, uh, Keith playing very well. Um, ben Aird had some points at the very end, very nearly a double-double, and uh, Gettys Robinson with a double-double. You look at all the players that scored for Northern Illinois, every player that played but two, had some points so you know total team effort for them came up a little bit short but I think the Wolverines had key contributions from key players at key moments in the game and that's what gave them the advantage. Northern Illinois now 0 and 6 on the season Utah Valley by the way as we mentioned 4 and 3 they hit the road play at Wyoming did you ever get to play at Wyoming I never, heard it's a tough place to play. Yeah never never went there never never played at Wyoming. Well, come on Matt yeah, come with us. I, I'd love to come <laughs> you, you know I think looking forward to that game We've, we've mentioned the struggles of the Wolverines on the road. You know, they play great at home, but they need to extend that on the road. So that'll be a very tough matchup for them, and, and they'll, you know, have one day to prepare. And the good thing about the Wyoming matchup, it's a home-and-home. Home. Mm -hmm. Utah Valley goes to Wyoming on Wednesday. Wyoming comes back here the first week in January. Hey, that's going to do it for us. Wolverines win this one 58-47. This game has been a production by students from the digital media department here at Utah Valley University, just a segment of the College of Technology and Computing. This game is a copyrighted production of UVU and the UVU Sports Network. Final score once again, Utah Valley 58, Northern Illinois 47. For Matt Peterson, I'm Jim McCullough. Good night from Orem, Utah.